Hello everyone and welcome back to Sim Airport. Uh, just a reminder, uh, I am recording episodes back to back right now because I had to send out four parts from my computer uh, to get that fixed. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and keep on going here. Um, if you have any comments or anything like that, please leave them down below and I will uh, get to those when uh, I start uh, recording episodes on a regular basis again instead of doing it in bulk. So. Let's go ahead and move on, shall we? Uh, last episode, we went ahead and did the expansion of this area right here. We got the cafe in, and uh, we got the uh, the other gate in here. Uh, so we did a great job on that. We've found that there's, uh, <coughs> you know, a lot of things that they fixed here with the cafe. Um, but now we're to the point to where we're, you know, we're selling out of pizzas, so we have to wait for uh, inventory to refill on that. Um, it looks as though there was a flight that just had gotten canceled. Uh, if I take a look at, that is not what I want, this is what I want. Um, so, failed to reserve runway. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and fix that now because uh, I don't want to have, I don't want to have any more issues with uh, runways and stuff like that. So, we are going to have intersecting runways. We have already gone through and done the research. Um, the research has been complete. Where's it at? Intersecting runway. So, that is done. Uh, in order to do that, you have to have a construction foreman. He has to have his own office and then you can research intersecting runways. So with that being said, let's go ahead and build, and the runways are different now. So the runways you actually have to click and drag uh, in order to have those. Now, that is something completely new and completely different. Um, I do think what I wanna do is I wanna make, I'm trying to remember, I don't remember exactly what the length is uh, for the largest runway. Um, I think it's like 90, 150, and 210, I think. Uh, if I go to Pacific Airlines, um, I don't remember. I've got some airlines down here. There we go. 240 is the length. 240. Yeah, that's not going to happen right now. Um, so 90 and 150? Yeah, 90 and 150. Um, so what I want to do, I was going to make this a small runway. I was going to make it a 90. But, um, you know, since I have to add taxiways onto the end of it anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and make it 150. Um, if I do that, then that's going to take it out to about here. And actually, I like that. That works for me. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of that. Need to get rid of that taxiway. And actually, what I need to do is that's not going to go there, but that's going to go there and that's going to go there. So let's fast forward. Probably shouldn't have gotten rid of that first, but uh, that's okay. This doesn't look like it's going to take too terribly long to uh, to get built. So we'll get that built in there. Okay, so that's done. That was pretty quick. Um, I think, I really do think I want to expand this over here. So let me... Let me try and expand this. I, I the game might crash on me. I, I usually I want to get the uh, the expansion done before I record the episode, but let me try it first. Well, let me just try it and see what happens. And I may or may not have a cut in the video. I don't know yet. We'll see. Hey, hey, we're good. Okay, good. Game did not crash on me. That's awesome. All right. So then, what I want to do is let's clear out. Granted, that costed a lot of money. But I want to clear this out. And actually, I want to clear the entire fence out because I don't need that. And then that'll allow me to extend this out just a little bit further. Um, and then I think what I'm going to end up doing is... I'm going to take this 
and go that way with it. Then I'll demolish that. This is going to be a lot more expensive than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's telling me that the taxiway needs to be connected. I know it needs to be connected. I'm building it right now. Slow your roll. Calm down. Alright, why can't I... Oh, that's taxiway direction. Um, taxiway. Which we might go ahead and take a look at that too. So if I start this here and I go 150... Oh, that's a taxiway. I want, I want a runway. Alright, so if I start that there and go 150, that takes me to here. I kind of want to go one more back. So if I start here... And then we'll go there like that. And the reason why I want to do it like that is so I can have this end go there like that. And then have this taxiway come out to here. Ah, oh, crap. I was really hoping I could go along this way, but I can't. But I can go that way and have this extend up and go that way. Because what I can do is I can create a taxiway direction that makes this can only be applied to a single taxiway at a time. Okay. All right, there we go. Oops. Okay. Awesome. So then it can go to, you know, wherever it needs to go. And then this can only go down. And that can only go that way. That way it prevents just, it, it prevents planes from, you know, crossing over each other, you know? Uh, let's go, let's get, go to planning and get rid of that. So there we go. Now we have, uh, we have runways that, uh, you know, intersect each other. Um, I need to upgrade this to have nighttime lights. Um, and that's great. That is freaking awesome. I love it. Uh, I think that, um... I think I'm going to end up having I don't know I'm thinking about this and I'm not entirely sure how I want to do the one ways mm, the uh, the one way taxiways yet <laughs> god that was a mouthful um, passenger satisfaction for some reason has gone down tremendously I'm not entirely sure why so I'm going to have to take a look at that when uh uh, when we get done. Okay, so I need a regular door to go here. Because guests keep getting stuck. So let's clear that out. And then give me a regular door to go here. That way that stops happening, because that's kind of annoying. Okay, it's very annoying. It's extremely annoying, really. Anyway. Alright, so. Intersecting runways, check. One-way taxiways, check. Um, now that we've got two active runways... Oh, let me see. Let me go to my schedule, and let me... Still got to be careful with that because, you know, we don't want an accident to happen there, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Actually, let me just leave it there. Um, Alright, let's build a foundation. 
Like I'm trying to go forward some and it's not working. Um, I think for right now what I want to do is I just want to keep it simple. I'll come, I'll have this come all the way down here. I'll just have that come out and then I'm just going to do a hallway. Go four across. So I'll just do a hallway that comes all the way down to here. That way I can get this stuff in here. And thankfully, these areas, these this little these two areas right here, they're not gonna be very big. You know, they're they're smaller um, gates, so they're not gonna have a whole lot of people. Uh, I think the maximum flight for these is going to be 140. Um, so really, I mean two gate agent deaths will be perfectly fine. We're not going to need to get it into any more than that at all. Um, and there's no, going to be no differentiation between first class and, uh, and, and coach. It, it's all going to be the same. But also, a lot of these flights here are going to end up being, you know, the smaller uh, flights. They are. They're going to be those small, you know, bombardier and Pacific flights that have like 90 people on them. So let me clear out my planning on that part of it and then on this part of it here. And then back here what I want to do is <coughs> You know, and I think eventually what I might end up doing is instead of, well, no, because I still have to have that whole open area there for, for these. Um, <laughs> Uh-oh. See, this is, this is why I'm running into issues now. Because the flights can't get around each other. So you need to go... Go taxi one way direction here. There we go. Need to get this fixed. Let's just let's just take care of this now. One, two, three, one, two, three. Alright, let me let me let me do this and then I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've gotten this figured out. Um, I had to make sure that like at the ends of the um, runways there was not an arrow because it was actually making them bypass the entire runway itself. Um, so I had to make sure that, that was steer cleared and then I had to get rid of the ones that were right up against the, uh, the gates here because uh, the planes couldn't actually technically get to the gate because it was telling them to go in that one direction. So I had to uh, get rid of that as well, uh, but it, it looks like as though I've gotten um, I've gotten it pretty much figured out. Uh, I think um, I think having some double uh, double taxiways in here, you know, side by side taxiways, are going to be kind of beneficial. Um, at least like for here, probably going having one come down this way right here and having it go in the opposite direction. Um, rather than it uh, being side by side. Uh, same with maybe like right here, having another one come down this way so it can come down instead of, you know, this having to go all the way around. You know, we'll, we'll look at that a little bit later on. Uh, for now, I want to go ahead and uh, I want to get this in here. And so I want to do, oh, let's see. Uh, gate agent desk. Let's go ahead and get two of those in here. Okay. And then I need to get a door in here. And I think just the regular sliding door, yep, yeah, that'll work perfectly fine. So then this is going to get assigned to those two. This is going to get assigned to those two. Now I do need to keep in mind the baggage depot. Um, 
Haven't really thought about that quite just yet when it comes to this. We might end up having to uh, to wait until the next episode to do that because I'd really want to get the flights and stuff in here first before um, before I mess with any of that kind of stuff. So these seem to be doing really, really well down here. Um, we are getting a ton of passengers in and out of this airport. Um, if we take a look at uh, the income right now, we are making 266,000. Um, staff are doing good. Uh, we'll take a look at the reports and stuff like that here in a little bit. Um, but I do have a feeling that uh, once we get these flights in here, let me pause the game. Once we get these flights in here, that uh, we're definitely going to need to beef up on um, our ticketing and our security and, and stuff like that. Um, so we will take a look at that probably in the next episode. Let me actually, let me go ahead and go past midnight here. That way uh, these flights that we're getting ready to add in don't actually go on to the next day um, that we get them scheduled for the, uh, the following day. Um, so there we go. Okay, it's after midnight. Airline interest has actually gone up 54%. Uh, Pacific Airlines, now these are going to be extremely tiny flights. Uh, 150 passengers, actually Airbus A320, that's pretty damn, that's pretty damn good. Um, and then the Beechcraft 1900 is actually only 19 passengers. Um, so if we do, let's see, let's just do a Beechcraft, Beechcraft, and Beechcraft. So if I do those three, then that really only needs to be, can I make it an hour or is an hour and a half the minimum? It looks like an hour and a half is the minimum, which is fine. Uh, this is another beach craft. So I can take that time down and then here's another one, and that can be brought down. Okay. Now, do I have more tiny flights? Those are all 737s. Embraer 195 is a 90 passenger. Um, oh, a Boeing 767? Where did that one come from? Uh, Airbus A320. It's 150. So it looks like those uh, those Beechcraft ones are really the only uh, teeny tiny ones that we had. Bombardier Dash 8. Okay, there's another small one. Bombardier CRJ 9. Okay, so there's another small one. These are all Airbus A320s, Boeing 737s. Here's another Bombardier Dash 8. Okay, so let's look at our schedule. Again, 50 passengers, pretty sure only going to need an hour and a half for that. So same with this one. 75 passengers, only going to need an hour and a half. Um, Atlantic International 767. How did I do that one? That was totally by accident. Oh, okay, this is a Bombardier Dash 8. I'm like, what? I was totally confused for a minute there. <laughs> yeah, alrighty. Not sure how that happened, but okay. Uh, let's move that to there. Move that one out. Move that one back, and then move this one back. Okay. And then I need, I don't know, just a couple morning flights. Um, it's a nighttime flight. Here's a morning flight. Airbus A320. Just 150. And I can just place that one like right there. I can actually do the next one as well. For the morning. And that one can go right there. It's a lot of tiny flights in there. Oh, let's see. I can't do any more. Well, I can. I, yeah, I can. I can do a couple nighttime flights. So I can do that one, and I can do that one. I don't want the status, I want the schedule. So if I put that one there, and then if I put that one, oops, that's way too close. 
put that one there. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Um, all right, so let's look at... So a Boeing 737 morning and two afternoon flights. So we'll get all those. So there's an afternoon. Here's a morning flight, which I can put there. And then another afternoon flight. That can go right in the middle of those. Uh, so I need two more morning flights. Uh, this is an Embar. Okay, I can do that one. And then Sparkjet, Boeing 737. Yeah, okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'll put that one there. And then this one can go right there. Perfect. Now, I've got this big gap in here, um, which is good. I'm actually perfectly fine with that gap being in there because I don't really have the runway space for it and I don't really have I don't have the capacity to do that one. So let's go ahead and fast forward the game. Um, passenger issues, environment is back down again. Uh, let's take a look at our environmental heat map. Okay, so it appears to be that uh, this area here that we did is taking it down. So let's go back into our decor, into our plants and everything. Um, let's put a couple plants on the sides of the garbage bins. And then I think, uh, I think putting some plants back here might help. Let's see, let's go with uh, a couple of trees back in here. That should help us out. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. I think, uh, honestly, I think I'm going to get rid of... Make that coach. As well. Because honestly, I mean, first class doesn't really seem to be doing anything other than the fact of, you know, slowing down the progress of boarding. That's, uh, that's about it. That's what's happening there. So, um, granted, let's see, we have, what, 18, 15 minutes until we have to take off, which will make it, I mean, granted, the plane was late by 22 minutes anyway, but we're still leaving on time, but still, I don't like to see that. I really don't. Um, currently, right now, for today, uh, we're doing all right. Uh, for tomorrow, we have got... Oh, boy. <laughs> it's a lot of freaking people. I have a feeling that uh, this might be needed to be expanded on greater than... Or sooner than what we think. But uh, considering how much time is left in the episode, as long as we drag it out a little, I think we'll be okay. Uh, for the last few minutes, what I want to do is I do want to go ahead and get... Um, you know, we've got all of that stuff in there. I do want to get these taxiways built. Um, yeah. So let's see. So let's get uh, let's get the taxiway down here, and then we'll move it down there, and then to there. And then what that's going to allow me to do is, if I take the taxiway direction off of the intersection. Well, granted, that one's not gonna really going to matter because it, it can only go in that direction anyway. Well, but if I take if I take that off, and I take that off, and I take that off, then that's going to allow one to go into there if need be. There we go. All right, so that's just in case, like, uh, you know, one comes down, it needs to go back around this way. I'm not entirely sure why, but maybe it does. You know, like this one's doing now for some reason. I don't know why he's going that way, but... Oh, because he had to get onto the runway, that's why. Okay. So, that works. You know, that helps out a lot by uh, by doing that, so... Alright. 
Well, we are um, <laughs> we are five point two million dollars in debt now. Um, actually, it's five and a quarter, really. Um, that's that's a bit much. Uh, but we are making four hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars now a day, um, which means that's only going to take us what ten days <laughs> to get out of debt. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's that's a little crazy. Um, let's see. Hunger. Ooh, hunger is up. Or down, I should say. Um, hunger and environment are the two biggest things now. Uh, environment, of course. It's always the friggin' environment. Whatever. Honestly, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna bother. Um, I do need more airport staff. So let's get three, four, five. Let's get a couple of them hired. Let's go ahead and put uh, some utilities in here. The uh, queue lines, I mean. So this one, actually, I think I'll do there like that. And then this one, same thing to there. And then back here, same thing. Oops, shrink that. That go out, that can go there, get rid of that one. That can go over to there, okay. So then that can be assigned to that one. That one can go to that one. That to that one and that to that one. Okay, no problems there. I need to close that, okay. This is actually, this is turning out really, really nicely. I really like this. I really like the way this has turned out. Um, this is probably the best airport that I've actually ever built in, in this game. Um, just with the intersecting runways, with the way the taxiways are, um, the way the gates are and everything. I, I think that, uh, I mean, this is, this really is the best one that I've done so far. And I really like it. All right. Uh, you know what? So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. I think, uh, I think we're good for today. So, like I had said before, you know, recording episodes back to back, probably going to be the next uh, four or five episodes that you guys see after this one will probably end up being uh, back to back recordings. So just keep that in mind. Anything that you want to say, please comment down in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There's plenty of other stuff for you guys to watch while uh, I go in between uh, getting the computer fixed. Um, if there's anything else that you guys want to see, just let me know. Thank you everyone for watching today, and I'll see you next time.